what would you say like the average amount of like experience for the average bull here is? 35 rodeos a year. 35 rodeos a year a piece? Wow. That's a lot of that's a lot of rodeos. I feel good that he was saying that it was safer since they're all rodeo bulls and they're all experienced. They're more docile, I guess, than bulls that have never experienced people and are just being thrown into a ring. So I guess I feel a little bit safer. Go bulls! It's, the, the, the mix of people, I think, is interesting. I mean, there are a lot of people of all different ages from all over the country, and I think it'll be uh, an interesting experience to see how everybody comes together. I'm probably more concerned about uh, people pushing and shoving and tripping and moving all over and people freaking out everywhere. How long have you guys been prepping for this? Have you guys been today? <laughs> this is our prep. What do you do for a living? I manage a restaurant. You manage a restaurant? Do you manage a Viking themed restaurant? No, but it is a steakhouse. It is a steakhouse. We, we've been practicing avoiding cars out there, so we've been getting You've been running with the cars? Oh, yeah, we've been warming yeah. up a little bit. But I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be a lot of fun, you know? I think it'll be um, an experience to be sure. I think for the most part it should be fine as long as you stay close to the close to the sides. We honor the bull. We honor the bull. And salute you all. And I guess it was about what I expected, maybe a, li maybe a little bit less. It wasn't as exhilarating as I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was going to be much more exhilarating, and I thought that uh, it'd be, the bulls would be a lot more erratic, but they weren't, uh, which I guess was a good thing in the long run.